All right, let's get going on another year of game development. First thing is that I'm planning on finishing and releasing Notem on this year. I won't get any more specific than that for now, but that's the plan and I'm pretty excited about it. I worked more on the NPCs since the last video. Now the town is full of people who each have a routine, name and whatnot. They live together in their houses, go out during the day to work or play and all that. They also greet you once per day when you get close, with their own unique greeting. All this is ultimately not too complex, but it's my first time ever programming NPCs and just putting these bits in really makes the game come to life. While working on NPCs, I've been thinking about how to implement dialogue, and I came to the conclusion that it needs its own cartridge. Here's what I've got so far. Character portraits with animated mouths, text that automatically wraps to the next line to stay in the bubbles, and colored text. The background is blank for now, but I'll show the overworld behind it, just like the battle cartridge. I'm pretty excited about how the NPCs are turning out, so let me know what you think, and if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Before, there was a random chance of entering a battle with every step you took, which could cause you to enter a new battle as soon as you take one step after the previous one. That felt pretty awful, so I've implemented minimum and maximum distances, so you always get some distance before the next battle, and never go too long without one when you're in the relevant areas. I also finally implemented giving items to Notemon to get them to join your team. I'm not going to explain how it all works in the back end, though when the game comes out you can look at the code using Pico 8, but basically if you give them items they have a chance to join you based on how much they like that item. Outside of Notemon, you may have seen my recent video about switching from C++ to C. I've used many programming languages and never really liked any of them, even C++ which was the one I ultimately stuck to. Well, since making that video I translated my programming tutorials to C and have been programming some other stuff in C for fun and learning too. The best thing I've randomly doodled is this little maze game. The line of sight lighting is still buggy, but I think it's pretty cool and it's been pretty educational to work on it. So far I'm finding that C is actually allowing me to enjoy programming again. Assuming things on the side continue to go well, I'll most likely program my next game after Notemon in C. By the way, the source code for my little maze game is on GitLab, linked in the description. That's it for this patch notes video. Let me know what you think about the NPCs and other features I've implemented in Notemon, and what you think of the maze thing I've been doodling around with. Cheers!